I'm Christopher Titus, and this is a rabble of ding dong. They're all the same. I keep hearing that about the Democrats and Republicans. And this week, it was proven to be true. This is Senator Bob Menendez. And this is the indictment and the raid on his house. Bob is from New Jersey and the head of the Foreign Affairs Committee. And let's dig into his affairs for a moment. Menendez's job was the head of the committee who would recommend military weapon sales, military financing, and other aid and support to the government of Egypt. And the grand jury charged Senator Menendez and his wife, who engaged in a corrupt relationship with Wael Hanna, Jose Uribe, and Fred Diabetes. I'm sure I got that wrong. Three New Jersey businessmen who paid hundreds of thousands of dollars of bribes, including cash, gold, and a Mercedes Benz, and other things of value, in exchange for Senator Menendez agreeing to use his power and influence to protect and enrich those same businessmen and to benefit the government of Egypt. You know, so the guy that works for us in America was helping Egypt. Cool. So we have a high ranking Democrat indicted on corruption charges, him, his wife and three others. Now, when I first heard it, I thought this is outrageous. And then I learned he was from New Jersey. And then I thought only 600 grand. My God, he even sucks at corruption. There's the fucking money. You know know how much lawyers cost? And I don't want to hear about the fucking economy either. So to my Republican countrymen, look, I know you're having a moment right now. See, the Democrat did it, too. And you're right. But here's the difference. Democrats are demanding he resign. They're going full out to get this tiny, corrupt little hummel the hell out of our government. He's had numerous senators of his own party telling him he has to resign. And he should because selling out your country to a foreign government is something that needs to be handled. And Senator Menendez needs to be in jail. Democrats agree. Criminals need to go to prison. Republicans, on on the other hand, believe that the biggest criminal in American history who cheated on his taxes, cheated people on a fake college, lied 32,000 times while president, and then tried to overthrow the United States and end democracy, who also stole top secret documents and tried to hide them against the fucking Presidential Record Act, which he keeps claiming may protects him. Well, that criminal, the Republicans want that guy to be president again. They want to stop the four indictments, which are for tax fraud, sedition, espionage, and excessive fake tanning. That's the difference. When Democrats have a criminal in their ranks, they cut them loose. They get rid of them. When the Republicans have a criminal in their ranks, a guy who planned an insurrection, committed 91 felonies, and tried to destroy the United States of America, (laughs) they want to give him another shot to end America. That's the tiny difference. I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. Yeah, do you see the difference? We see a criminal like, holy shit, that guy's a criminal. Let's get rid of him, why? Because he makes the rest of us look criminal. Republicans like, yeah, that guy's a criminal. How can I?